Hello my fellow flight simulator pilots. This is a follow up of FSX Ground Proximity Warning System. After the posting of the video, some people requested me to send them the file and I was glad to do so for a while. But after a while, I think it's about time for they to get the file themselves. And because th the time I made this video, the s file you can download is free for all. Pretty much anybody that visits their website, Project Magenta, can get it without having to do anything except for typing in their address. And because of the change in the web page, now they require a registration to download pretty much any software on their website and now I am on that website so then I'm going to show you how to do how to get it in current time first of all you have to register and then after you register you log in then go to downloads and then in this area there's going to be a lot of things that's gonna pop up then you're gonna look for utilities then look for PM sounds 113 update and then click download after you download this you pretty much go through any normal installation process that you would go through and install the software and also this software requires another piece of software to run with your FSX and this software is FS UIPC which is on this website just like PM sounds FS UIPC is a free software as well but it's only free for unregistered user users and if you have four release version of if it's UIPC then you have more functionalities that unregistered users don't have and the current version is 4.8 and you just click on the blue link here and they will sh send you a zip file and then you unzip it install yada yada pretty much the same thing as before and then after you turn on FSX you have to make sure that it it trusts FS, FS UIPC to run or else PM sounds just won't run that's what I'm saying and then getting getting this software is easier than getting PM sound and I recommend getting this and then getting PM sound because PM sound sure take a lot of your time and by the way this is my current um, Facebook page, November 0616 Julia Charlie Productions. And you can like this page if you want, but I really I wish you guys would like this. And I will be posting updates about Flight Simulator and stuff on here. And I will post pictures of my flights. And during those flights, I will be using payware aircraft like PMDG 747, PMDG 737 NGX and uh, quality wings level D. Yeah, pretty much all of those. And by the way, I will be giving people 50 copies of the software PM Sound. And after that, I will not be giving out the software because I really want my viewers to be independent and get the file themselves and not dependent on me for the file because the school work that I will be encountering in the future will be too much for me to a, a lot free time f for me to send out the file and also in my future videos and I show you a flight video if my rudder starts turning left I mean right all of a sudden then it's not my fault I did not intend that to happen and that happens because 
my joystick is in the, the false signal to my FSX turning the rudder to the right and if I were to do a taxi video I would literally you will literally see the aircraft turning right all of a sudden and I would correct it to left and that's pretty an really annoying because when you're trying to take off and all of a sudden your aircraft yaws to the right and that aircraft will literally stall and you're pretty close to stall speed by then which means that if I were to do a takeoff flight you will pretty much see me wrestle with the aircraft or actually l wrestle with the my joystick which I don't like at all and I'll be trying to get a better computer in the future so that I can make better FSX videos for you guys and thanks for watching this video